It's not easy to see out of a Chevy Camaro. That's just an inescapable consequence of forcing 1967 design cues onto modern, safety-compliant hardware shared with the Chevrolet SS and the late, lamented Pontiac G8. You'll have to live with this poor visibility if you buy any Camaro. But opt for a Camaro SS equipped with the one the package, and you might not care. Chassis changes are extensive and bring the one the closely in line with the handling, if not the ultimate prowess of the 580 horsepower ZL1. Compared with the standard SS, the front and rear anti-roll bars are enlarged, a strut tower brace is bolted in place, monotub rear shocks replace the SS's twin tube units, and black 20-inch wheels, 10 inches wide in front and 11 inches wide in back, are furnished with 285-35R20 Goodyear Eagle F1 Supercar G colon 2 rubber borrowed from the ZL1's front end. To help keep it all working under duress, the ZL1's wheel bearings, rear shock mounts, and larger fuel pump are used. With the exception of the $1,995 recurro seats and the material covering the steering wheel and shifter, the rest of the Camaro interior reminds us of the General Motors that went bankrupt. If it weren't for the interior, nothing about the one that would feel cheap. And yet, we'd be willing to overlook the interior and the lack of outward visibility to park a Camaro SS1 in the garage. It's definitely on the hardcore side of the performance spectrum, but so is a Porsche GT3. The suspension might be a bit too hard and its reflex is too quick for some, but those people will likely be buying an automatic Camaro anyway. Or waiting for the lighter smaller all-new Camaro coming for 2016, and hoping it brings a classier interior and better visibility.